Okay, so in the newspaper today we have this feature which tries to compare look the size of a human being. Okay, so it's about the average is five point six feet. Yes. With different size of sea animals. Right? Hey, listen to this. Which sea animal is this? This looks like an octopus, but this is an octopus. That's a jellyfish. This is a jellyfish. It's a lion's mane jellyfish. Lion's mane jellyfish. Look, it's as, almost as long as a whale, blue whale. It's very long. Yeah. But the question is, they said that is how small human being is. Compared to that, that's how long the jellyfish is. That's impossible. Blue fish is. Well, but <clears throat> here's what we do. No, 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 not because of that. Like, this is impossible for such a big jellyfish. It's, I've seen jellyfishes. But let me tell, let me ask you the question. There's something wrong with all this scale. What? Look, if this is how small a human being is. Yes. Looks like about one and a half centimeter or one centimeter maybe. Mm -hmm. This scale here says it's 120 foot, this is 5.6 foot. Do you think how many human beings will fit in this jellyfish length, right? So yeah, this, let's see, let's see, let's that's see. That's what we call scaling. Scaling. Scaling uh, means we actually draw this to the size, okay? So that the size in real life is exactly the same. And how do you do that? Remember yesterday you learned about uh, equivalent fractions? Yes. That's the concept they use to do the scaling. For example, if in the real life you have <clears throat> a 100 feet jellyfish, mm -hmm. okay? Yes. And a human being is, for example, 5 feet. Okay. So the fraction is 5 over 100. Yes. Now, you want the entire thing to reduce to the size of a newspaper. So the, the jellyfish fits in the newspaper. Mm -hmm. And of course, the human being being a smaller size will also fit in the newspaper. Okay. So that's called scaling. Okay, first listen to this. I figured out how many humans. It's 25 humans to fit 100... 100 feet long jellyfish. That's 120. I'm not actually counting these sixes because it's a small estimation. You mean 5.6? Yes, I'm just counting five. Okay, five, and you're counting... 100 much? instead of 120. So that makes 25? Yep. Since when? <laughs> ten, ten, ten. That's what happens to sometimes smart kids. They make very small mistakes. How did you calculate 25? Master did a wrong calculation. Let me see this. It should be 20. <laughs> Don't do those things, okay? Ah, come on, dude, it was just the wrong way of thinking about it, okay? Okay, that should be fine. Let me, let me ask you then. If it's 20 human beings in real life, mm -hmm. now you want to fit it in the newspaper, you're going to actually use the concept of equivalent fractions there. You know that? You are going to use it? Yeah, because look, it's 5 over 100, and then you reduce it to 1 over 20. Okay. There's still 20 jellyfishes. Mm. I'm sorry, 20 humans, one jellyfish. Yes. Right? And the problem is, you don't... So if one jellyfish is 100 feet, then... Um, I'm sorry, if one... Yeah, if one jellyfish is 100 feet, you, in the newspaper you don't have the space for 100 feet. Mm -hmm. So you got to reduce it more. So it reduces so much that the human should be incy-wincy. What's a incy-wincy? Incy-wincy means very small. Oh, okay. Is that your own word? No. Hmm. Incy-wincy is a word. You should learn more English. True. I should it was, I thought it was 
I don't know. Incy wincy? I never heard that word. Okay. Incy wincy small means tiny as an ant. Oh. Looks tiny as an ant. Acha acha. I understand now. Okay. So, and then how big the jellyfish is gonna look like? How big the jellyfish is gonna look like? Hmm. Well, if something's an incy wincy ant and it needs 20, a jellyfish hmm. might look like a herd of a. A part of a herd of ants traveling together. Twenty lengths. Or, as I can say, this much. So, will it fit the newspaper? Yes, it will. Ah, uh, yes, it looks like that. Okay. That's called scaling. Okay. And the actual mathematical word that you'll see in the book, which you haven't seen yet, those chapters, it's called drawing to scale. Okay, but first, dude, I want to say something. This looks like a whale shark, right? That is a whale shark, yeah. That's how it is written there. Okay, this is a normal whale. This is a blue whale. No, that's a sperm whale. A, sp a sperm whale has a, has a face in front that's like that. Hey, dude. Blue this is whales? a blue whale. This is a blue whale. Papa, listen to this. A sperm whale looks more like an ordinary whale because ordinary whales have this like blunt face yeah blunt face but the blue whale has a face so it can get out of any disasters that can humans can cause like mm. trapping through nets be, like there's a big like canopy you can't go under you just have to go over you can just the blue whale can just hop over with its fins, just splash hop. What are you saying, hop over? It can go over a net mm. that doesn't let you go under. Acha. Okay. Now, I'm curious about something. What? Why don't normal whales have that same feature? I don't know. They must have different kind of strengths. I know the sperm whale has a blunt face, meaning that it can push something very hard. Because look at the area that it has in front is much more, right? Yeah. So the area that it has here will be able to contact, let's say, this wall. All right. Mm -hmm. Look at my finger. Now, if I poke a finger on the wall, it pokes only this much. Mm -hmm. But if I put my palm. It can apply area in a bigger area, so that means the area of the sperm whale's face has... So the sperm whale is used to like push things right. in its environment. Like the sperm whale is used, is caught in a special tactic of hard materials or something like that. Right. I think this is a hammerhead shark, but I can't see it's since called, it's all black. It's written here, basking shark. Basking shark. I heard that shark as well. It's a basking shark. Hmm. Anyway. Octopus. Do you see maths and physics in animals? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Okay. Tell me one example of math or physics that you see. Quick. One example. Okay, we can like measure how high it... I'm not saying about those kind of math and physics. I'm saying that the animals themselves use math and physics for survival. You see that? Yes, I know that. Because what? look, when the blue whale is going to jump out of a net if it's ever trapped then it has to calculate how much or it just might end up on the net and dying you calculate what calculate how much of a force you have to put on the water so you can jump out good so which part is the physics here the force yes the force okay good okay. this well the sperm well mm. needs like I'm doing this for every animal, okay? So the sperm whale 
needs to know how.